Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Welcome back. This week is our last week on the Fruit of the Spirit, and so we're finishing up with the last Fruit of the Spirit, which is self-control. And so the verse today for self-control is from Proverbs. It's for, from chapter 25. 25. It's verse 28, and it says, A man with, without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. And so what exactly is self-control? Because um, it can be a couple of different things. Um, and what it really is, is being aware and being in charge of how you feel and how, what you're thinking and how you act in reaction to what you feel and how you're thinking. So a lot of the times, um, self-control, I think of self-control as like not even when you really want um, like a snack, like maybe ice cream or like um, chips or something, um, and maybe somebody else wants them too. I think of self-control as maybe saying, okay, I'm going to wait until they take theirs first, or if you go first and you take your stuff, you know, you make sure that you leave enough for them um, because you want them to have um, the snack too. Um, and but the thing is that self-control is definitely not only related to like snacks or food or whatever. It has to do with um, actions. And so it can be treating people with kindness, even when you're really like not happy with them. If you're mad at somebody and all you want to do is yell and just tell them how like you're, you're just so mad. Sometimes control is taking that breath and stepping away and saying, even though I'm frustrated, I want to be kind to them. Sometimes it's responding with obedience to your parents and saying, okay, I really want to just do play my video games or go outside right now, but they said to clean my room. And so I'm going to go and clean my room. Um, and I'm not going to argue, but I'm going to control myself and um, obey. Um, and so, or, or it's about acting patiently for something um, because you know, if you're patient and you don't whine about it, it will come eventually. And um, self-control can be really hard and it's, it's something that uh, is a fruit of the spirit that we can work on throughout our entire lives. I'm not the best at self-control depending on what's, what's happening around me. Um, but as we just pray and we um, look to God and as our relationships with him grow, we become more and more like Jesus and we can change and just um, work and strengthen our self-control. Right. Like you said, I'm not even good with self-control sometimes, and I'm sure if you guys ask your parents, they would say, no, we're not the best, the best with self-control, but as you get older, you will learn what it means to have self-control. Right now, it may be a hard concept to understand, as I think a lot of the fruit of the Spirit is hard to understand, but as you get older, you can recognize these things, these things that you're doing, and so that is why... Um, to be led by the Holy Spirit is to be doing these things, to have self-control. And so that is why uh, self-control is one of the important ones, because although we may not understand what this means, although we may not know how to do it right now, we'll learn to do it as we grow in our faith. So we're going to pray. Dear God, help us all to have self-control, even when we may be frustrated and not understand why we do the things that we do, God, you show us that having self-control is something that we can do only by asking you for your help. God, we know that having self-control is a hard thing to do, and it is something that we may not understand, but God, help us to grow as Christians and to keep this in our lives. God, I also pray for these kids as uh, they're ending their school year right now, help them to finish strong, help them to stay in touch with their families and their friends, even though this is going on for a long time, God, just keep them happy and healthy and till we can see them again. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, see you next time, guys. Yeah, bye.